Hello guys, we are at the Blade 2019 exhibition. So you know what we decided to do? We decided to find the most expensive knife on this exhibition. So we'll take a look at several stands, find out about the prices, and in the end of this video, you'll see the most expensive piece here. Let's go! We're at the Mr. Blade, NC Custom and many other brands stand. There are friends. So guys, we are making a video about the most expensive knife here. Oh, that's not so expensive. Only 200,000 rubles. 2600 dollars. So it's made by the Basco company. Everything made by hand. The handle is uh, Mammoth Tusk. 3D engraving. Titan. Stainless steel. What kind of steel is that? M690. What a beauty. Beautiful. $2,600. So come here and buy it urgently. They fly out like hotcakes. Yeah, it's the last one here. Yeah, great. So let's look at some other expensive things. We'll come back. Now, my friends, we'll tell you about some other expensive things. We're at the Zlataus. It's a piece of the Zlataus city, Air company. So show me the coolest and the most expensive things you have. So that's what you're holding. It's a katana, made of Damascus, stainless, polished. Quite interesting and beautiful. How much does this interesting and beautiful polished katana cost? $4,600. Who can buy this? Do you need a license for that? No, no, it's sold as a souvenir. Uh, you can buy it if you want anybody, if you have $4,600. But actually, there's no problem, you can just buy it like it is. Okay, okay, 4600 uh, I don't think it's your limit, you must have something more expensive. Show me what else you've got. So this is a spear, Yari Bushido, Seven Principles of a Samurai. You can disassemble it here. The base is made of a uh, stained horn beam. Tell me about the famous Damascus. This is our famous Damascus. Oh, you're such a smooth talker. How much is it? $5,800. You know, I really want to swing it right away. But here it's hard to find the space. So friends, if you have $5,800 to spare. You can buy this cheapo here at the Zlatov shop, a year company. Thank you so much. We'll come back later. We'll touch everything and take a look. Oh, I was passing by the stand and I saw tote bag knives. And I know these are not cheap. So let's, let's take a look. Dandro Trade House. I don't know these guys. Honestly, but let's see. Let's see what they have. Man Cave Channel. I was passing by and accidentally I saw that you have Todd Bag Knives. We're making the video about the most expensive knives on this exhibition. So please show me the coolest things you got. That's the Todd Bag, right? Yep. It's very, very expensive. $2,000. That's called Bodega? The model? Or is based on the model? Yeah, yeah, it's a unique knife. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. We have some more. Yeah, show us. Oh, such a tiny one. Lansdale. Well, that's cheaper, right? Yeah. How much? 1,250. That's a top knife. This one, people are just hunting for it. Yep, that's V knife. Yeah, it's a very popular brand now. Yep, no doubt about it. Yeah, this is the last one we've got. And how much is this one? Four hundred and fifty dollars, and that's a cheapo. Well, compared to this one, yes. But actually, it's not so cheap. Yeah, of course, that bag is cool. That's cool. Uh, I think Discovery Channel had a series of shows about his uh, knives. I think only two of the series are translated into Russian, but you should take a look. 
Okay, thank, thank you so much, guys. Have a good one. Yeah, bye bye. Traditionally, just like last year, we came. Hello? This knife is called Parabellum. What's the price of this beauty? $4,600 and more. What does it depend on? Well, this is the base model. We also have an honorary award model, standard one. So, this is detachable, fast disassembly. We don't have the most expensive ones here that we're making. So it's closed like this, you push here, that's it, and back into the sheath. Amazing work. Igor Murzalev. It's one of my cravings on Instagram. Oh, on Facebook. But on Instagram too. This took the first place here. Oh, Mauser. Is this, the price is the same, 4,600. Also, there's a trigger. You can open it up like this. Yeah, an amazing case. So here, instead of a cleaning rod that the pistol has, uh, there is a diamond whetstone. So Mauser has an extra spring here. And we put a little sharpening stone here. So it looks as close to the gun as possible and all the mechanisms are almost the same. But it's a knife instead of a gun. Is it Damascus? No, it's Bulat, the Russian soft steel Damascus. And everything's made of Damascus, it's covered in silver. All the details are made from the same material. Very cool. You can disassemble it up to a screw. We have photos where it's completely disassembled, both of, the knife, of these knives. And this is a new one. Yeah, I recognize it. It's a remake, we've already been making this. Uh, I think you already ha also had uh, an amazing cult knife. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we don't have it today. They're all made to order. For collections. So you're just making to order. No, you can buy something from this screen. Almost everything. But, you know, mostly collectioners are ordering. Here we're just showing what we can do. That's really nice for bikers. Yeah, hot enamel with silk. We have some with stones for collectioners. This is for sale. What's the price? $3,300. Yeah, the Mauser knife we've been working on for a year. Yeah, yeah, I saw it clip about it. It took a long time to... Yeah, actually, the customer told us it's been a year since the day I ordered, so it took quite a lot of work. Of course, we were doing other things in parallel, but uh, there was a lot of scrap models. Something was very hard to do, but eventually we did it. Okay, thank you so much. It was very pleasant to take a look at your knives again. Say thank you. See you soon. Very cool knives, very cool knives. So let's go on. We'll take a look at the CKF. Misha always has lots of people. So we're making a clip about the most expensive knife. Show me what's the most expensive thing you've got left. Well, we're not the top cast of Russian knife makers. We're an international company, quite modest. So this is Snackster. It's about 1,450 rubles. Why about? Because, you know, we're counting in dollars and in rubles is 110,000. Yeah, we're counting in dollars because the situation in Russia is not so stable. Because it's Berlin steel, M390. Uh, Titan comes from Nicaragua all the way. Timascus is from Russia. Uh, I was kidding about Nicaragua. Yeah, yeah, you got me bewildered here. The ball bearings are taken from God knows where, so we're counting it in dollars always. Plus the famous designer, it's probably 
one of the most innovational designers in the world, in the knife industry, Snack Stand from Malaysia. He's making knives like this one, you can disassemble it without any tools at all, with your bare hands. Oh, so, so stylish. It's like in a used car storehouse. No. Yeah. Stas Bandarenko was helping uh, make it unique, so the copper patination is made galvanically. And it is gonna age really well. The titanium handle, it's gonna be a decoration of any collection, unlike many of the faceless pieces that people are taking home from this exhibition. I really like it. Can you show me how you disassemble it? Yeah, yeah. Sure, if you can make a close-up, I'll show you. So here, the backspacer is spring-loaded, so if you push it, you can take out this pad, pin and uh, remove the cl clip, and this joint of the clip perfectly fits the pivot screw. So then you can unscrew it and uh, the knife will just fall apart. So it's only held in place by the, by the screw. Yeah, yeah. But it's also safeguarded by another screw. Yep, and this is glued and there's an additional screw here. Yep, you can assemble it back again just as easily. Push it on and the knife is ready. And the clip is not dangling. If you're a rich person, you can just carry it in your pocket. If you have one, one and a half thousand dollars, you can buy it on credit, yep. We have installments plans. Pay 33% a month and you can buy the most expensive knife from our online shop. Great, thank you so much. It's a pity that I couldn't show you something more expensive, like the other guys did. You know, maybe it's cheaper than many other knives, but it looks really, really nice. Actually, this is the one I would buy. I really like it. When you turn off the camera, we can talk about it more. <laughs> you know why? Because it looks unlike anything else. Yeah, you're one of the 2% of the people that make our living. Thank you so much, guys, for your work. You too. So now we came to the Kasumi stand. Andre, who is leading here, will show us really cool and expensive things. So, how much is this pleasure? This pleasure is very cheap. It's only $2,800. Now, the knife. The same master, Kiko Matsudo. He came here to Russia. He came fishing. He got so inspired by the nature of Siberia, by this topic of Siberia, bears, Russia. You know, vodka balalaika, yeah, yeah, vodka balalaika. So he imbibed it all and he thought, what kind of knife should I make specifically in this spirit of Russia? And he decided that this knife should at least reach the heart of a bear, if you need, if you need to. So he made a big one, bulky and very beautiful, beautiful knife. The most difficult thing is to take a picture of this knife. Nobody could do it nicely. Yeah, definitely, I can confirm. Because it's polished to a mirror. Yeah, beautiful. He only made 10 knives like this, specifically for the Katsumi company. And nobody will ever have more of such knives. Eight of them are already in private collections, and two knives are still free. As far as I remember, 350,000 rubles, 4,600 dollars. Yes, you already know the price, I know. Your memory is great. Actually, I want to show you another one from the same master, but something which can be seen more often, even on the shelves of online shops, foreign shops. It's a working knife. The specifics here, uh, and you can see it on this knife, the master makes a combination of hollow grinds and lenses. It's all made by hand, he doesn't have any CNC machines, any clips, he's just making uh, 
you know, knife with his hands on a grinding machine, regular machine. Just taking a look once in a while. As a person who's been trading for quite a long time at the Kasumi company, there's a specific feature with the Kiko Masuda knives. Most often people are buying a knife that fits their hand. And often it's quite difficult to do. You, you give them a 10 knives, person tries, 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 only one fits his hand. But if I put 10 knives of Kiko Matsuda, different models, maybe only one out of 10 will not fit his hand. So his amazing feature is that he knows how to make knives that fit almost any hand. You take it and you just don't want to put it down. Yeah, yeah, actually, yesterday I tried and all of them fit perfectly. Yeah, that's an amazing feature. What else can I show you? Rockstead, you know, right? Yeah, yeah, please show. Show me this Rockstead that everybody knows, that everybody has. Show me this Rockstead. Uh, what's the price of this small boy? Yeah, here, I'll say, if I remember correctly, I think it's $850. So the Rockstead, it's Un or Yun called, people call it differently. The handle is made authentically, just like a Japanese sword. So it's wooden base, stingray leather, and the braiding is made of silk threads. The interesting peculiarity here is that the braiding is made by the master, uh, who is doing it for four generations already, their family. It's his trade, he's making braidings. Only the braidings. Yeah, that's Japan, you know. J in Japan, one person does the thread, another one makes the knot. Yeah, his whole, li his whole life he's making one single thing. And for many, many generations they're doing it like this. That's, that's the secret of Japan. They, they're giving the trade from one generation to another, sharing the experience, and the whole life they're honing this experience. So in the end, nobody can make anything better. It's only here. In Russia, you find a piece of steel, you have a grinder, and you're a knife master. Yeah, very beautiful. The history of rocks that is very easy. Kitana Katsumi, one of the most famous Japanese knife makers, he came to this company and said, I have beautiful shapes, you have beautiful equipment, let's do something together. And that's how it started. At the moment, the Rockstead brand is one of the best and most high-tech knives in the world. Yeah, looks really cool. So, my traditional question, was the price of this cheap knife? If my memory serves me right, and it's, if it serves you right, it's $4,600. Amazing knife. For bushcraft, for the forest, for survival. Yeah, they're taking it for survival, for hunting. Precisely this knife a person took with this knife, with the steel, ZDP-189, he brought to me after a year and a half of active usage on hunting to resharpen. And the whole edge was covered in just tiny chip spots from the beginning to the end. But then I took some piece of paper and the places that didn't have chips were cut really easily. He could have continued working with this knife without paying attention to the chips, just aesthetically. He asked us to resharpen just to make it look nice. So we did it and it keeps working, so that's the gist of Rockstead. Great, thank you so much, we'll come back again. You can't get rid of us. Well, actually, coming back to Kasumi is a good omen, always. Dre, so we came for your most expensive knife. What's the most expensive one you've got? In your famous Kizlar factory, which is already 20 years old. Is it the musket knife? It's the most expensive devi device we've got. Understand. Okay, so what's the price of this device? The price of it is up to $2,600. What does it depend on? Up to? It depends on my bargaining skills. You want a precise amount? I can sell it to you for 2400 But I have to bargain a lot. I have to be a good guy. No, no, this is the price from the factory. $2,400. So what are the specialty? What is the specialty of this knife? Besides its beautiful looks, what are the materials? It's made of Damascus. Uh, engraving, handmade engraving, completely. Of course, the Damascus steel is not on the blade, but also in the sheath, in the cover. Also, there's pure silver, 
Quartz, finite. And ebony, ebony wood. It's encrusted. It's finite. That's it. That's it. It's such a gorgeous thing. Actually, still, we, are, we didn't publish uh, the clip about uh, the designer knives from Dagestan. It's gonna go out a little later. A beautiful, beautiful, fine knife. Thank you so much. We're continuing to look for the most expensive one on this exhibition. So if something disappears from our exhibition, I know who to go to. We're gonna get me far. See you soon. Okay, friends, we found quite a lot of different, quite expensive knives, but now we're gonna go back to our improvised studio of the man cave and we'll show you the most expensive knife on this exhibition. So my friends, this is the most expensive knife here. At least as far as I know, we couldn't find anything more expensive. So you know George, he is the representative of Kasumi and now is the really expensive one. What do you have? How much is it? Master Kitana made only three knives like this for the whole world. Actually, it wasn't supposed to be sold. These are prototypes. And the main line is made of different steel. This steel is called H34A. Out of all the known knives, it's the only one uh, which is used here. The hardness of the blade is itself is more than 72 units. I, I'm not gonna say what's the covering material called. And it's much even harder, much harder than the blade. So it's useless to measure it in the Rockwell scale, because it only works up to 72 units. The master is Kitano. He created the steel ZDP-189. He's the main technologist at the Rockstead company, who are making the knives called Rockstead. 72 units. Want it chip out? No, no. It's not gonna crumble away. It's uh, meant exactly to make knives of. The steel is chosen in such a way that uh, with the tampering of 72 units is retaining enough inner plasticity to not crumble away. So what about the handle? Yep, yeah, the handle is tightened. The handle uh, can be shifted. It has three positions. Uh, for my hand, the middle position is, is better. If you have a smaller arm, you can put it down, or if you have a bigger arm, you, have, you can put it up. What are the peculiarities of this knife, of the blade? Well, Kitana knives are standardly, you know, standard shape, it's double grind, and the other side is a, side is a lance, so it's all tempered to zero, tapered to zero. There's practically no secondary bevel. It's completely going down to zero as much as it's possible. So about the price? Yeah, let's talk about the price. How much does it cost? I'm not gonna be cheating you. Here's the proof. The price tag. We're selling this knife for 1 million rubles. 13,000. 100 dollars. So on Saturday we're gonna buy... We're probably gonna sell this knife. Because today a client came and he asked us for some time to think until Saturday. And actually this knife was sold at this exhibition. So if you want, you have only time until Saturday, not more. Just a million rubles, $13,100. You can buy a car or a woman for that price. I don't know, just a million. If I had a million, I would, I would buy it. If I had a million to spare, I would just buy this particular knife. I wouldn't spend it on anything else. But at the same time, the knife costs so much, but it doesn't have a clip to, to put in your pocket. What is that? How can you make knives like this? Well, Vitaly, it's so lazy. Just open it. I don't have gloves. Just open it. You're not gonna touch the blade too much. Well, I understand. Mechanical. It's perfect. It's so smooth. This knife is just made ideally. Precisely, 100% made by hand, just perfectly. And this is not the best piece of art of the Master Kitano. This knife costs $13,100. It's the most expensive knife of the Blade 2019 exhibition. You, you still have time to buy it, maybe it's already bought. Yeah, because they're buying it like hotcakes. Okay, thank you so much. We were speaking about the most expensive knives of the Blade 2019.